My name's John Shanks. Uh, I work for the Centre of Sustainable Architecture with Wood at the University of Tasmania and I'm co-organiser for the Digital Fabrication with Timber Studio 2013. Okay, John, so tell me, what, what is this studio? What's going to happen in the studio? The studio is a three-day event uh, which focuses on learning by making and allowing participants to really get involved in the design, uh, fabrication and construction process of um, full-scale structures using cutting-edge um, computer modelling and fabrication technology. So what sort of computer programs will be using for that? We'll be mainly focusing using uh, Rhino as the platform, but yeah. we'll develop tools, parametric modelling tools that sit within the Rhino environment to allow surfaces to be modelled and then meshed and structures assigned to different gridded patterns um, automatically, but with scope for modification by the participants as they see fit. Here's an example of a Rhino project. We have two uh, three-dimensional triangular shaped steel trusses passing through space above grid lines. We can turn on the grasshopper model shown in red and make the adjustments parametrically based on uh, site constraints and construction constraints as well as uh, structural load path refining lines of thrust from one column leg to another. Okay, so once someone's made the model, then what happens? The beginning of the workshop, the beginning of the studio, yeah. sorry, um, will have a period of rapid prototyping and sketch model building. So yeah. once the brief is made clear to the participants, yeah. break into small groups and we'll focus on building um, computer models and prototyping at 1 to 10 using laser cutters. Yeah. So we can rapidly look at lots of different forms and gridding options and connection options at 1 to 10. Yeah. We'll then, um, as a collective, decide which one or which hybrid of those schemes to run forward with, and then we'll start fabrication at pace at full scale using the CNC router. Now we have at our disposal both laser cutter and a CNC router, but also uh, a whole range of more traditional workshop type equipment. So it may be the backbone of it might be digitally, digitally produced, but there may be some components that are finished by hand or added on as addendums. So are there people from, um, from overseas coming to support the workshop? That's right. So the tutors for the event will be myself, um, a couple of people coming from overseas, one from New Zealand, an engineer with a background in working on architecturally significant projects, yep. uh, who has um, uh, skill in developing software interfaces and parametric modelling. Yep. And we also have an architect who fulfils the role of uh, the interface between um, designers and fabricators who works out of Hong Kong. He's currently developing um, a parametrically modelled system for timber building and for meshing unique and complex surfaces. As okay. well as that we have um, some keynote speakers who will be phoning in or Skyping in um, from overseas to give lectures from um, Canada and again from Hong Kong. So what sort of person would this sort of studio interest? Firstly, it would interest people with an interest in learning more about 3D modelling yep. or who currently practice 3D modelling. It doesn't matter what your current skill set is in 3D modelling, it would be applicable to you because upfront uh, we'll offer tutorials and access to the software we'll be using. Yep. But 3D modelling is at the backbone of the studio. Secondly, those who currently work or have an interest in um, automated fabrication and processing, and these might be people who currently work for joinery shops, who use um, computer controlled machining to more or less an extent, or those who are just interested in learning more about the process of digital modelling to automated fabrication. Mm -hmm. Thirdly, those with an interest in geometrically complex structures, um, the, the skill sets of the tutors involved are such that um, there's a wealth of experience there in working on architecturally significant geometrically complex structures such as grid shells, geodesic domes and lamellas. So if the attendees want to draw more out from the tutors during the 3D event there'll be lots of opportunity for that. Okay, so what should someone bring if they want to come? Um, well provided for you will be um, the materials, yep. the computer suite, uh, software, 
and access to all the tools and equipment. You should bring sensible clothes, stout shoes and safety glasses for working in a workshop. Um, as well as that, you should bring enthusiasm and an open mind and a, and a willingness to work quite hard for three days. Right.